Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Before we get into a full-blown problem with all of its glory, I want to do a smaller problem here with dependent sampling with two means uh, and just get practice writing the null and the alternate hypothesis because we're, these problems are set up slightly differently than the other ones because they're dependent sampling. So let's just jump right into it. A diet pill claims to make a person lose more than 12 pounds in the first month. To test this, 15 people take the pill and are weighed at the beginning and the end of the month. State the null and the alternate hypothesis. You know, all journeys begin with a single step. The first thing we really need to master is to be able to read the problem, pull out the information, and to write down the null and alternate hypothesis. Okay? So, it's instructive sometimes to just write down some things that I know that you're thinking, but we'll write them down anyway. We're going to call population one uh, the, the weights collected of these 15 people before they take this pill. Notice that you can see immediately it's dependent sampling because we take 15 people and we weigh them at the beginning and the end, so it's before and after testing. Population two will be the weights that we collect from these people after. Uh, basically after the one month is up, okay? And the claim, it says right here, a diet pill claims to make a person lose more than 12 pounds in the first month. Now let me ask you a question. Let me draw something that may be helpful here. Draw a little number line. And this is going to represent the weight loss. So this is zero, okay? Right here. So basically, if this is zero, and this is a weight loss scale. What is weight loss? It's after weight minus before. So basically we say after minus before. So the after weight minus the before weight. As we stated in the last section, if we actually lose weight, then the after weight should be smaller than the before weight. And that means that the after weight minus the before weight should be negative if we've actually lost weight. It should be negative. And that's just set up the way that we've kind of calculated here. After minus before, after number is smaller. So if this graph represents weight loss and you want to lose weight, wh where do you want to be on this graph? Well, you want to be in the negative region over here to the left of zero because that means that your after weight was lower than your before weight and you were negative, okay? So what this uh, problem is really stating, it says, um, diet pill claims to make a person lose more than 12 pounds in the first month. So if we go down here, somewhere over here is negative 12. And this uh, particular weight loss guy is basically saying that we're going to not only make you lose 12 pounds, but maybe even more than that. So we can shade you to the left over here. I want to draw it graphically because some